Our community member Baboon wants to know what our efforts are to get listed on more US-based exchanges because for him um, it seems to be, and I agree with that, there seems to be a problem with purchasing LSK in the United States. We have to keep in mind that the United States are, regulatory speaking, a very difficult landscape. Um, it's very difficult to um, yeah, act as a cryptocurrency or a blockchain entity um, within the legal framework the United States have laid out. Um, further, we have to keep in mind that the, the LSK token is already listed on three US-based exchanges, namely Kraken, Poloniex and Bittrex, which all are up and running since years, so they are quite reputable. Um, however, I agree with the sentiment that in order to increase the accessibility for the LSK token so that our user base can use the utility functions on our network and in the future of all sidechains linked to our platform, we need to increase the number of exchanges, especially in the US as it's a very big market for us. I think there are in the top three of our user base currently. So what are our, what are our um, strategies or actions here? First of all, we have to provide a US legal opinion to any US-based exchange. And this US legal opinion has to come from a reputable US-based law firm. Further, this legal opinion has to state explicitly that the LSK token is not a security token under the Howey test, which was updated just last year. I think there are some new um, let's say um, specifications um, which make it now easier to evaluate if a cryptocurrency is a security or not in the United States. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not too deeply involved in the legalities of that and the exact details, but essentially that's what we need. And if we have this legal document or this legal opinion, we can then take it to the various exchanges based in the US, um, like Binance US or Bitstamp, Bitfinex, um, Coinbase, um, I think CEX and so on and so forth. Not 100% sure if all of these are actually based in the US, but they are seen as US based exchanges because they primarily serve US customers. Um, so these are all somewhat wanted from our community and also from myself to get listed on. Um, so with that legal opinion, we are going to approach these exchanges and then we likely always have to fill out, like first of all, a questionnaire, which covers many, many questions about LISC, the cryptocurrency, the project, its status, its progress, the legal entity behind it, where it's registered, um, who are the founders, what's the team, what are its can uh, contractors, and so on and so forth. So it's a very long document for each of these exchanges, which we have to fill out um, so that they can complete their compliance and due diligence processes. Um, further, sometimes exchanges are required to um, well, ask for a listing fee because they get so many requests for token listings. Um, we at LISC, we have never paid in our entire history for any uh, exchange listing uh, and this will continue to be like that. Um, first of all, I don't agree with the sentiment, but I also um, think that, well, for a utility token like LSK is, that's not the way to go. Uh, we are primarily there for users who want to use our platform um, and exchanges are a great way to get the LSK token and to start using our platform. But to pay for that um, is something we will never do. Um, further, some exchanges ask for something like a token competition for trading or for marketing purposes. 
Um, and here the, um, well, legal framework in which we can move within as a Swiss foundation is pretty limited. But in some cases we can do something if it's more about the promotional aspect of our project, not about the trading pair added to an exchange. So we have to be very careful here in order to stay legal, which is our number one priority always, always has been and always will be. But I'm working on it. Um, I'm currently in the process of contacting four US based law firms. I'm currently based in LA for a little bit over a month still. So I have more than enough time to kick that forward. I already had a call with one legal firm. Um, so we really have to see what the different legal firms are saying, what's possible, what's not possible, um, how much it costs and how long it will take. And then we can take the whole process to the next level that we are then approaching the exchanges. Um, please keep in mind that it's not our decision to get listed on exchanges. It's always the decision of the exchange. So we cannot enforce it. We can only prepare all necessary legal documents, opinions, papers, uh, fill out questionnaires, whatever is required um, to make the whole process as comfortable as possible for the exchange. Um, and that's what we are doing. And we can, um, I think, only try to get as many requests to the exchanges as possible. So if you want to see the LSK token on your favorite US-based exchange or any exchange around the world, then please contact them and ask for the listing of the LSK token.